Hey, first graders. Okay, it is time to do our compound word flip chart. All right, so each of you have a white piece of paper in your folder packet. What I need you to do first is to fold both sides in so that they're equal. So like it's kind of like a, our hot dog fold, okay? You're gonna go in vertically and then you're gonna press it down. I know you can't see it. Press it down so it's equal and then press the sides so they're nice and straight. All right, I don't know if you could see. Let's see you doing this, sorry, I'm trying to do it one-handed. And press the sides so they're nice and straight and they come together. And then when you're done, it'll kind of look like a book. That opens on both sides. <laughs> like this is what it should look like when you're done. All right, if you need to take a second, go ahead and pause it and then go try to folding it and then push play again when you're ready to get. All right, so after you have your book, we're going to make three cuts on this side. So you're gonna come down to about a third, have mom and dad help you try to guesstimate where to go. And then you're gonna cut all the way to the end of this fold and then stop. Come down a little bit more, and so you have a box at the bottom and a box at the top still. Cut all the way to the fold and stop. So now you have three little flaps for our flip chart. Now we're gonna do it on this side. So you're going to right cut right where you were on the other side. So go directly across and cut the other way on the other flap all the way to the end and stop. See how I did that? Do it again down here at the bottom. Cut all the way to the end on the opposite side and stop at the flap. So you should have one, two, three flaps on the right side, one, two, three flaps on the left side. And so you should have how many flaps all together? Six, good job. Okay, um, if you need to stop to get caught up, go ahead and pause the video and then start back up when you need to. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to make compound words. And you can Google compound words or you've done compound some compound words activities. So you should have a couple in your head. If not, make one up. But anyhow, Miss Tia chose this one. I wanted to do a basket. So I drew a basket on this side. A ball. So I drew a ball on this side. And when I put basket and ball together, what compound word do I have? Basketball. And there's my basketball. Okay. So then I'll fold them up and I'll do my second one. I chose pop, there's Mrs. Tia's favorite Dr. Pepper. Then corn, you put pop and corn together for what compound word? Popcorn. And last one, sun and flower. Put them together and it makes a sunflower. All right, you guys do not have to do these words. You can choose whatever compound words you want to and draw whatever pictures go along with the words you choose, okay? If you want to do these, go for it. But if you want to choose your own words, you use your brain, be a problem solver, and try to find some. If you're not sure how to draw a picture, you guys have Chromebooks. So just like when Miss Tia can't figure out how to draw something, what do I usually do when I'm like, oh, man, what does that look like? I Google it, right? I Google it and find an image, and then that way it gives me an idea to look at, and then I can draw from there. So if you're having trouble trying to figure out what to draw and how to draw it, go to Google and search it. All right, and so see if that helps. Uh, when you get done with these, I would love to see a picture. All right, I wanna see your compound word flip charts. All right, first graders, have a great Thursday.